Observers in Europe will be getting up early on Thursday morning, December the 8th, to see the moon occult Mars. For the past few months, Jupiter has been stealing the show, and it's easy to see in the south for most of the night. But now Mars is rising in the east in the early evenings, and it will be closest to Earth on December the 8th, when it is opposite the sun in the sky. And on that date, the full moon will pass between Earth and Mars, an occultation that will be visible from Europe, Greenland, and most of the continental USA and Canada. The catch for those of us in Europe is that the lunar occultation will happen in the early hours of the morning as Mars is setting, so you'll need to plan in advance where you're going to be to be able to see it. Of course, one way would be to get up early a day or two before and see where Mars is around 6am, but with cloudy winter weather that might not work. Another way is to use a planetarium program like Cap de Ciel or Stellarium to find out where Mars will be. From The Hague that's going to be about 280 degrees azimuth, or just a bit north of due west, and an altitude of only 24 degrees. Then you use the same program to find out when a star that you recognize will be close to that same position. Two nights ago, at the time I was looking, the bright star Vega was just above and to the right of that position, so I know the spot that I took this photo from will work. Of course, be sure to choose a safe location and preferably drag someone else along to share the experience with you. Aim to get into position 15 minutes early to be sure you don't miss anything. And if you have a good view of the horizon, you could stay on to catch the reappearance of Mars just under an hour later. Unlike the disappearance, there isn't any warning, so you'll want to be paying close attention from a few minutes beforehand. From here, Mars will be at just 16 degrees altitude then. If it's cloudy where you are, check out the live stream on this channel beginning at 5.45 CEST, that's 4.45 UT. And if it's cloudy here, I'll post links to other live streams. Good luck seeing it, and do let everyone know in the comments how you get on.